Hi, I'm Kelsey Rothhouse, and on this episode of Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports, I'll be sitting down with our new head football coach, Justin Wilcox, try to get to know him a little bit better. I'm here with the new football coach, Justin Wilcox. Justin, thank you so much for being here. You bet. So Cal is not new to you. You were here back from 2003 to 2005 under Tedford. Um, since being back, what have you noticed are the biggest changes? You know, a lot of it's the same coming back here, the university and uh, kind of the vibe around campus. Obviously, the facilities uh, look a little different than they did in those days, but a lot of the things that made uh, make Cal a, a special place are the exact same as they were then. The day your hiring was made official, the front page of the Daily Cal predominantly featured the opening of the new Taco Bell Cantina mm. Uh, right by campus and the news of your hiring was kind of small and off to the side yeah. um, I know it's just the front page of a student paper But what do you think that says about the culture at Cal and the attitude towards athletics? Well, I like tacos as much as the next <laughs> person. So I I get it and uh, I you know, I think uh, You know kind of one of the things that makes Cal a great place and Berkeley a great place is it's so diverse So you get a little bit of everything and uh, so I thought it was uh, fitting in a lot of ways so and it's always must be a little bit difficult coming into a new program and having to get to know a whole group of guys really quickly that you were not a part of recruiting. Um, how has that bonding process been so far? I heard maybe food trucks were involved. Yeah, yeah I think we, uh, it takes, you know, we've, we've obviously had some team meetings and got to interact with them, but it takes more than a meeting. It takes more than a week. It takes some time. And uh, they're going to get to know us over the course of time and uh, we'll get to know them, but just tr trying to create some team activities and be around them as much as we can. Now you have had some fun so far checking out the other sports. You were at the Cal Oregon men's basketball game recently and you were sitting next to Adam Duritz of Counting Crows and Steve Kerr. How did that happen? How did you sit next to each other and what did you talk about during the game? Oh, well, uh, you know, high level things. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we just uh, talking about the game and, um, it was fun to, to sit with those guys and uh, known Adam for a while and then from my time before and then getting to meet Coach Kerr and kind of talk to him about some of the uh, things that, you know, he works with on a, on a daily basis with his team and kind of picking his brain on some of those things and really just enjoying the game. So it was pretty fun. Lastly, you essentially have spent the last decade of your life as a defensive coordinator at a variety of schools. How has it felt to take in that you were the head coach of a Division I football program? Uh, well, it's an honor. It's, it's humbling and uh, I take it very, very serious. I'm really excited to get to work with a great group of people mm -hmm. from our support staff up here to our administration. Uh, the coaches that we've been able to hire here are fantastic. And it, it's, a, it's just a different set of challenges. You know, you have more conversations during the day with different people involved with different parts of the program. So that's a little different, but uh, it's really exciting. It's energizing. And I can't wait to, you know, move on to the next step, which would be spring football. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. We're all excited for football season. Good luck with everything. Thanks so much. Thank you.